If you're one of the many people suffering from acid reflux, you're not alone. NBC 26's Cassandra Duvall explains how surgery might be able to help you. It's time for Medical Monday. Dr. Anna Pierce with Aurora Bay Care is here. We are talking about something that not a lot of people might know about, anti-reflux surgery. That's so many right. people suffer from reflux and things like that. So explain what that is, first of all. Sure. So um, reflux in general, we're talking about kind of the things you and I would think about, the commercials with the yes. terrible heartburn right yep. after a big spicy meal. Mm -hmm. uh, some people experience that occasionally. Some people, unfortunately, experience it two, three times a week. Oh, it's okay. overwhelming, lifestyle limiting, um, and they're requiring medications to control their symptoms. And it may not just be the pain. It may be they can't sleep lying flat because they mm -hmm. get bad regurgitation, sour taste in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Uh, people with respiratory problems can have exacerbation of that just because of all of this um, acid sure. getting up in their throat. So that's the extreme. These are the people who might be of good course. candidates for the surgery. Of course. Ideal candidates for surgery are people who um, are dependent on medication to control their symptoms. Mm -hmm. So they have these symptoms at least two, three times a month and need their medicine every day in order to be comfortable. Yeah. Um, so we talk to them about surgery and usually it's people who they're just either sick of taking the medication, the medic medication talk costs too much, mm -hmm. or they don't like the side effects. Okay. So that's probably the most common group of people we see. So briefly tell us about the surgery, what it entails and things like sure. that. Sure. So it is probably one of the most exciting um, procedures we perform as a surgeon because the um, effects are pretty much immediate and pretty oh, life, wow. life changing for people who have it. So it's a minimally invasive surgery. So we perform it laparoscopically, which is with oh, tiny incisions right? in the upper yep. abdomen. We have a camera in there and some small instruments and with a camera to guide us. And we take kind of the top floppy portion of the stomach, we wrap it around the lower part of the esophagus. Mm -hmm. So as the stomach expands, we have this new flap valve mechanism so that things don't, um, as the stomach gets bigger, all the acid that's in there doesn't come back up into the esophagus. Oh, wow. And you, like you said, it's almost immediate, right? Yes. We expect them to usually go home the next day after surgery mm -hmm. um, off of any of their antacids if they can lie flat while they sleep and shouldn't experience the regurgitation mm -hmm. um, that they had before surgery. That's incredible. So like you were saying, recovery time, just a day in the hospital probably. A day in the hospital. We have people on something of a modified diet to kind of slow back sure. into things. Sure, um, because you don't want to be yeah. doing the spicy foods and exactly. the big meals and things like that. Right. right. It's kind of um, softer foods, lighter foods for a couple mm -hmm. of days to weeks. Um, but usually there, it's a minimally invasive surgery. Pain is minimal. They should be back up to their regular activities, minus the uh, antacid medication pretty quickly. And for somebody who, I mean, this is, this is life changing for them, isn't it? For a lot of people, and I mean, we think about heartburn and we think about, you know, the people who just have a bad meal and yes, you know you're going to yes. get it. So just you a take little it inconvenience. Time. Exactly. But there are people whose lives are, are dictated, what they eat, what they do, how they sleep um, mm -hmm. because of this heartburn. So it's, a, it's very... It's very awesome to um, see some people just really liberated from their medications or from other things by uh, this simple surgery. All right. Thanks so much for being this, Doc. For more information about this acid reflux surgery, visit our website and click on the Wisconsin Tonight section.